In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to set an appointment for roof inspection. Now, this video was inspired by a YouTube comment, so thank you, keep those coming. Every video I do is in response to what you're looking for, so DM me on Instagram, at Roof Strategist. Follow me on Facebook, Adam Benzman, my full name, and you can follow the fan page there. And you can always email me, adam at roofstrategist.com because I wanna provide the information that's helpful to you right now. So thank you for the comment of how do you set an appointment as a canvasser? Now one thing, let's get some disclaimers out of the way, all right? First things first, as a roofing salesperson, if you are able to close the deal on the spot, do not set an appointment. Do it right then and there. This industry is all about well, I shouldn't say this industry, sales in general, it's respecting the homeowner. And that's the same reason that I teach that, let's say on a retail lead, you show up at the house, you should have your estimate ready to prepare. Otherwise, it's disrespectful of their time. You have to show up, you gotta take your measurements, you leave, and then you gotta come back to present, and they want two hours of your time, and then they, no. Like, if, if it were me, put yourself in the shoes of the homeowner, I call up a roofing company, can I get an estimate? I want them to come out, I, what do I want? I want fast service. Right, and that will also increase your ability for a one call close. So this section that I'll be going through now is specifically for canvassers or in the event that you cannot do the appointment on the spot. But remember, ideal world, get that appointment done right then, right there, do your inspection because it increases your ability to have that one call close so someone doesn't cancel on you, change their mind, you have another roofer come in. What if you set it two days later and they show up and do it then? you just need to take advantage of those opportunities. Plus, it's more efficient. Remember, each visit to the home costs you time and money, so why add another one for no reason? So get that appointment done while you're there. This here that I'll be going through is the exact slides as an excerpt of one of my programs called the Complete Canvassing Strategy. And I added this because many of my clients are developing canvassing teams that they want to work alongside their salespeople. So if you are a canvasser, if you are growing a canvassing team, or if you are in a position where you can't do the inspection on the spot, this, my friend, is how you will be setting those appointments. Now, Welcome back, by the way. It's great to have you here. My name is Adam Benzman, The Roof Strategist. If you're new here, everything you'll find on this podcast and in this YouTube channel is designed to help you smash your income goal in roofing sales, whether it's you on your own or whether it's you running a team because the success of the salesperson in the field is what it's all about. That means more customers served, more roofs put on, more happy companies, more happy salespeople, everybody wins. I do believe that growth in this industry is from what I call the bottom up, meaning from the salespeople in the field, not some magic miracle cure that owners can do. So it's all about you succeeding. And to help you do that, if you haven't already done it, I got a free offer for you. It's my Pitch Look a Pro Roofing Sales Training Video Library. It can be found here at www.theroofstrategist.com. There's a link in the description as well. So head here right now. You can enter your name and email, and uh, I'll send you a copy for free. It's 240 videos. We update all these videos and podcast episodes organized by category. It's a great starter track for brand new people or seasoned people looking to brush up on roofing sales basics, pitching, canvassing, objections, goals and motivation. You name it, it's in there. So head on over right now to www.theroofstrategist.com com and enter your name and email. I'll get that copy sent right over for free. Now, let's get back to it. We are going to be talking about how to set an appointment in seven steps. So first, our job is to guide the homeowner to saying yes in a very, non, a very easy and non-pushy way. Now, quick disclaimer, the word pushy. Some people are like, oh, well, I'm pushy and it works. I challenge you. Now I know what you're doing works. Don't change that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's a difference between being pushy and persistent, all right? Pushy is aggressive, persistent is persistent. It is continually asking with different angles. So you can be persistent without being pushy, all right? Now, um, we want to get the homeowner to yes very easily by going through this process step by step. And I've said this in other videos. Remember, when we're, when we're having, when we're making this ask, we just need to stay focused on the inspection. We don't want to start talking about, well, if you sign the deal and then anything, and then we're gonna get the adjuster out, and then this happens, and then this happens, and then this happens, and then we're gonna do the roof, and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, man, that's way too much. You're asking for way too much too soon. So just focus on what's gonna happen in the inspection. So what do we need to do? We need to introduce the offer. And the best way to get started is with a complimentary photo and video inspection. And by the way, this works for both storm and retail. Same exact approach. Our initial offer is gonna to be to conduct an inspection because that, after all, is how we will prepare an estimate. You know, no one's gonna really wanna to, to 
trust a roofing company if they didn't even look at the roof. Whether it's a drone inspection, and you can modify this, by the way, if you're um, doing drone inspections, but they want to make sure that you've seen the roof, you know what's going on, plus it gives you an opportunity to highlight the dead valley or a chimney with no cricket or whatever it is. So, um, best way to get started is with a complimentary photo and video inspection. By the way, I'm skipping through here. We're focusing on how to set the appointment. You'll have to assume that up until this point, you've gone through your pitch. I've done an entire playlist on that, the AC or pitch playlist using the SLAP formula. So we're in conversation. This is how we're going to set the appointment, is first say, hey, you know what, best way to get started is with a complimentary photo and video inspection. Then we move on to building trust. Now, what do I mean by building trust? This is breaking down barriers. You're a stranger that showed up on their house. Do they trust you? No. Do they think that you're going to try to sell them something? Of course. People are smart. There's always a hook, right? So what we want to do is remove the risk. We want to explain what's going to happen and put them at ease by building trust. So, hey, here's just a few outcomes that could happen. You could get a clean bill of health, and uh, if we find any issues or areas of concern, we'll guide you through those options. This is my favorite part. Even if you choose to work with someone else, so many people will challenge me. Adam, why would you say even if you can use someone else? Why? Because it disarms people. Literally, it disarms them. They're like, oh, okay. Even if I choose someone else, all right, I got nothing to lose. Non-pushy. See it? Again, we're looking for those micro commitments. So, hey, you could get a clean bill of health. If we find any issues or concerns, we'll walk you through your options and next steps, no matter what, even if you decide to work with someone else. All right? This also gives the illusion of control. So, introduce the offer, explain the potential outcomes. Everything's great, everything's not great, doesn't matter. We'll explain everything to you, whether you work with us or someone else. Then, now is where we ask for the appointment directly. This is my key phrase. Do you have any objection? Do you have any objection to a complimentary or a free photo and video inspection of your roof? Now, you'll notice I often will, will interject like free, no obligation, or complimentary. Everyone's got a different approach to this. Generally speaking, the word free is just fine, all right? But uh, certain folks respond better to complimentary. Complimentary inspection, it just sounds fancier, all right? So do you have any objection? Now, why do we ask it this way? Do you have any objection for a complimentary roof inspection? When I ask it this way, do you have any objection? What does that mean? That means, do you object? Yes, I object. Or no, no, I have no problem with that. No means yes. People naturally want to say no, so I give them an easy way to say yes by making that no mean yes. This has been a game changer for many. I've done another video on this topic. You can watch it here. It's called my famous one-liner. My Excuse me, my famous. I shouldn't have said that. I'm not famous. My favorite one-liner. That's the true subject line. <laughs> my, my favorite one-liner for getting more roof inspections. So you can learn more about that philosophy. Now we wait for the response. Assuming they say no, which means yes, we move on to step five, which is setting the appointment. Now, I want to do this in three stages to make it super easy, all right? First, what day is best for you and your spouse? By the way, be mindful. Um, you can say spouse, you can say any of the owners of the property. The big idea here for canvassers, you wanna make sure the decision makers are there. I personally didn't care being sent on one-leggers, but many people, I mean, truthfully, sales best practice is to have both decision makers there so they can make that decision on the spot. So we do wanna make sure they're there. If they say, hey, why do you want my spouse there? Say, because oftentimes she's gonna have different questions than you, or your husband's gonna have different questions than, than you will. In this way, you guys can drill, drill us with questions. We can make sure to get them all answered, all right? So what day is best for you? Then offer the day, the next day and two days later. So let's say you're there on Tuesday. What day is best for you and your spouse? Would it be Wednesday or Friday? So I'm just gonna start with the day, all right? This is the funnel to get that appointment set. Next, morning, afternoon, or evening best, okay? Again, I'm keeping it loosey-goose. You know what, um, evenings are best. Excellent, how does 6 p.m. sound? That works, perfect, now it's down. So I'm gonna just recap this. Hey, what day is best for you and your spouse? Wednesday or Friday? Oh, Friday? Okay, great. Uh, morning, afternoon, or evening? Uh, you know, uh, afternoon. All right, uh, how does three o'clock work? You know, three won't work. Okay, uh, what time will? Uh, how about four? Four, four is perfect. So do you see how by doing this, we're funneling them into the easiest answer that works around their schedule, and this will reduce our cancellation rate or people calling back to reschedule. Now, we say, excellent, and you know what? Um, I'm, I apologize, I didn't get your name. And then we get their name. And then what's the best phone number or text message to use for confirmation? 
Okay, great. Got that down. And uh, what's the best email so we can send some details about your appointment? Then we write the email down and then repeat it all back. Now, why are we doing this? One, we want to know their name. Phone, text, text them while you're standing there, okay? This way they have your info. You can say, hey, did you get it? That way, if you're iced, you don't have that excuse. And then the email, the reason I do this is in my program that I provide with the Roofing Sales Success Formula, and by the way, anyone using the Complete Sales Strategy or the Battle Pack, I have a lead confirmation email, excuse me, new lead confirmation email in there. And the purpose for that is to send the customer information to get them to study up and be prepared for the appointment. Plus it sets high expect, excuse me, it sets sets you off with a really great first impression and sets the expectations for the appointment to help you with that one call close. Another touch of service to differentiate yourself. So again, I'm showing you an excerpt of the canvassing strategy, which is only available as part of the roofing sales success formula because all these pieces tie in. So collect name, phone, and text, email, and then if you are using that system, you send that new lead, well, I call it the new lead confirmation email. It sets the expectations. So the homeowner creates a great first impression. All right and then we repeat it all back. Got it? Next. Tell them what happens next. This is our seventh and final step and the most important thing. Let them know. We will be emailing you a confirmation email with details about your appointment to confirm and so you know what to expect. John, if you know which sales rep will be there, you can mention his or her name. And if not, just explain what happens next. Hey, um, you know, you'll be receiving an email confirmation shortly. Uh, the representative from our company, our project manager, will show up on time with his or her ladder ready to serve you. He's going to chat through things with you, hop up on your roof, do your inspection, and he or she will show you everything that they find and walk you through those options, whether you choose us or someone else. So again, we're basically repeating to them how it will work. Remember, humans are curious creatures. And just like when you order something on Amazon Prime and check the shipping, it's not going to change it, but you just want to know, right? You ordered it. Nothing ever just doesn't show up with rare, rare exception, right? So we want to set those expectations to make people feel comfortable and cared for. That is the key to making sure that appointment sticks. So let's wrap this up with a lightning fast summary. Assuming your pitch goes well, if you're a sales rep, do the appointment in the inspection on the spot. If not, set the appointment. Here's what we do. Introduce how it works. Hey, uh, the best way to get started is with a free or a complimentary or no obligation uh, video and photo inspection. Then we ask, excuse me, then we build trust. You know what, you may get a clean bill of health, we may find some issues or problem areas. No matter what, we're gonna show you it all, educate you on your options, whether you choose us or someone else. So again, we explain how it's gonna work and then we remove that risk, all right? And we make them feel like they're not being pushed into anything. This is how we build trust. Then we ask for the appointment. Hey, do you have any objection to a free roof inspection where we take some photo and video of your roof and show you what we find? Okay. Do you have any objection? We're looking for that negative agreement where no means yes. Then we set the appointment. What day is best for you and your spouse? Tomorrow or two days later. Morning, afternoon, or evening best. Then spit out a time, confirm. Then we are going to collect their info, name, phone, and for, for a text, the email. By the way, send that new lead confirmation email and then repeat it all back. By following this and then telling them what happens next, you will secure appointments easily, the non-pushy way, with folks who are excited to meet with you, who know what's going on because you set things off on a very professional start, the best foot forward, and hopefully that salesperson comes in and close that deal so everybody wins. That's all I have for today's video. Now, if you want help learning how to ace your pitch at the door, I have an entire playlist for it, which you can hop into right here. And if you haven't already done it, click right here to get a free copy of my Pitch Like a Pro Roofing Sales Training Video Library. And I will see you soon. And by the way, getting access to this entire program, this was just a small excerpt, is available as part of the Roofing Sales Success Formula. Links in the podcast and video description. We'll see you soon.